the objective of this video is to help you learn to prompt using chat gpt get a code and then solve a machine learning problem so let's get started i have with me the pima indian diabetes database and we are going to predict the outcome of whether a person has diabetes or not so we're going to build a machine learning model which will classify upper take a stats of the person and classify them whether or not they're going to be a diabetic patient or not and so that's the problem statement let's just straight get into the problem statement and start coding for this you will be requiring chat gpt and i have a prompt with me which will help us get out the code and then we're going to use the kaggle platform to start writing the code so let's go ahead and start getting the prompt of the code and then we're also going to get the prompt from this place go to chat gpt write the code come back here write a new notebook and solve the problem statement so let's get started i'm going to say new notebook and i'm just going to say youtube part one and uh, we're going to build let's say logistic regression for diabetes prediction outcome prediction okay i'm going to remove everything here i'm just going to keep this pandas and numpy and we're going to remove everything within this place call this as import packages okay and i'm going to run this so it will kick start this entire process and then we're going to add a bunch of codes here so that we can easily paste the codes and start running now we need the code we'll go straight into chat gpt and this is prompt drive prompt drive helps you write prompts and you can simply copy and paste this prompts and change the variables if you have to i'm going to show you how we're going to do that i'm going to say save and copy and if you look at this it says imagine you are a machine learning expert write a code to build and we're going to say logistic regression regression to predict and the predict feature should be we need to get it and it should be available within the data set that we have here so if you go to the scroll down here you would see that there are nine columns and we need to get this outcome feature here right so i'm going to say outcome and say copy so with that simplicity we get the prompt i'm going to head over to chat gpt and what i'm going to do is keep this half split here so that we can write the code and do the activity in this part of it so or maybe i will just shift this here and get the prompt here and i'm going to slice this here so that it's uh, easily visible so or we're just going to resize this a little bit to this place and somewhat like this and a little bit on this place okay so this is good enough i'm going to put it here i put the prompt in here and i say enter now with chat gpt 3.5 it's going to give us a bunch of code it will give us the entire code and we just need to simply copy and paste to be able to make this work i recommend you do it in the way that i'm doing it so that you get the intended results much more quickly now this prompt works i've tested it multiple times so i'm going to take piece by piece so i'm going to take this portion of it first paste it here copy and i'm going to paste it here this is where we import all of the packages so that's done let me rerun it it's working then we are going to say here import data okay and we're going to go head over to chat gpt here oops yeah we're going to head over to this scroll this a little bit and reduce the size so we could, don't need to scroll i'm going to take these numerical features and this categorical features here and uh, we're just going to basically get these feature names that is available here right but it does not understand what are the feature names so i need to give it the data and i think we what we can do is we can head over to this place download this data set because it doesn't know what what the data sets uh, what are the columns within the data set so we're just going to open it I'm, I'm going to give a sample code here like this to the prompt here is the sample of data rewrite the code and i'm going to say enter it's not going to get oops we'll say stop 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 okay, let's just give it a sample data and we'll say submit okay so instead of data in we are going to it is instead of that we, it will automatically take these variables and and do it right so that's how it is now let's just go back up here now we have to import the data so we'll go back to our code here and we're going to import the data here the data set is going to be available 
in this place where you can expand this and you take this data set so we're going to say close this and we're going to say data is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and we're going to give open close bracket within single quotation the data set and we run it so we'll have the data set then we can perform the next steps which is this one right so dynamically select these variables i'm going to paste it here you see numerical features select integers no categorical feature so we're just going to run that in case it is there what we can do is we can select this and paste it here it says include we are going to say simply exclude so we will get all the categorical features but nothing is there so it will not happen at this place so i'm going to just copy this next part which is select the x variable and the target features which is good enough then i'm going to do train test split paste it here and that is how we separately take this information and continue to build our cases so i'm going to take this entire portion so we can chop it here so i'm going to take that remove this portion we don't want any of these explanation lines and we can expand this to to make more space for this one so we'll take this pre-processing standard scalar here i'm going to take this out cut it paste it below similarly take this cut it paste it below and then print all of these metrics and paste it below so this is a bit of housekeeping that we need to do else the code will become pretty messy but yeah this looks good typically i just want to run it and see if it is working run it 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 and it's working it's 100 percent accurate which is good enough for now but let's see if uh, we can do some housekeeping so basically what you want to do is take this markdown here and uh, basically cut all of this and paste the headings here so that you can visually see this so i'm going to do this quickly so the steps are visible and it makes your code a lot more better okay markdown paste it markdown paste it we can take this in a separate one and code paste it here oops we don't require this paste it here looks good the calculations of metrics again markdown and then printing the classification metrics so we're going to just say this metrics okay so this should be able to do it and uh, you you have finally built a model very quickly within using chat gpt to to code it so in short what we did is went to prompt drive we got our code pasted it in chat gpt modified it a little bit gave the column names then put that code and chopped it into the relevant headings and you can just say run all and it will perfectly run nicely and get you the predictions of who is diabetic or not diabetic and this is the train and test accuracy you will see that the f1 score recall precision all of them are 111 which means we have built the most perfect model for us to be able to run this particular analysis now this is how we use chat gpt to write a code quickly and get your starter code now with experience you will see that there is a lot of other nuances that come along which you the chat gpt will not be able to do it but it has given you a baseline code very quickly get started with this evolve on top of it or iterate on top of it and then make your codes or code even faster now if you have any queries or doubts mention that in the comment section i really want to engage and use latest technologies like this to ensure and reduce the working time that we have at data scientist so if you have any questions any tricks put please mention that in the comment section and do let me know how you felt about this and how this one this trick works for you to solve different problem statements thank you guys see you in the next one